Hey, Griddle Nation, welcome back to the Griddle Guys. You got Chris, Jeff, Nate, cheers to you. Cheers to our subs. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Smash the bell. Get to see all of our weekly fun times, fun, good, good cooks. Uh, anyway, it's Taco Tuesday, even though we are not cooking tacos. That's something for Nate and Jeff, you know, that real expensive stuff. <laughs> I'm going steak fajita. Keeping the Mexican theme, steak fajita. I'm gonna fill up that griddle. Real easy cook once you get all the prep work done, which I already took care of for these guys. So wow. it's been a good month. Great cook. Should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. I love fajitas. I typically buy those little packets with the for the meat, throw it in there. I'm doing something different. Stick around, we'll show you. Guys, list of ingredients. Um, Jeff comes to every cook hungry, so I got some pizza on there for him. It is supper Keep time. Keep him happy, so. And you guys can plan when I'm late, so. I, I expect smiles for the whole video from Jeff, so this nice. is a good thing. Nice, what are you guys gonna eat? <laughs> That's all yours, brother, I'm all set. All right, guys, list of ingredients. We have, I can't really see, almost two and a half pounds of flank steak, 13 bucks a pound. Price is going up on beef. They didn't have skirt steak, the market, so I did this. Uh, we're gonna do a dry rub on that and then cut it up into little strips. I'm gonna put Nate to work on that one. Uh, Sounds good. Like I always do, so. Uh, we got all the fixings here. We got some uh, guacamole Let's that I need. off. Wait a second, which way are we going here? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna stop over here, sorry, work my way around. We got pico. We got some pico de gallo, I just made that. Yes. Guys, I didn't want to film it, you've seen us do it before. It's Roma tomatoes, red onion. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of lime, a little bit of olive oil, and salt to taste. Came out really good. It's been chilling in the fridge for a couple hours, actually several hours. And some guacamole that I quickly made, as well as tomatoes. Some, some five, it's a four cheese blend right there. Mexican cheese, some onions, some lettuce. We've got bell peppers. We got orange, red, green, and onions. There are some green ones in there somewhere. You gotta boil them. Where There's there? a lot. Now, for the meat, for the dry rub that I'm gonna do, it's gonna be all cayenne pepper. All cayenne, no. <laughs> Actually, I'm using all of that because that's all I have left. But uh, the rest of it went in this chili. Yeah, I mentioned in the intro, I typically buy the packet, McCormick packet. I throw it in the meat and let it go. You know what? I'm I, I do my own chili a lot. I'm basically using my chili blend for this to see how it comes out. And for that, I use cayenne pepper, some cumin, chipotle chili pepper. A little having, bit of, having some issues focusing, but I'll get those. A little bit of garlic salt, some smoked paprika, and some salt. So I'm gonna put that one together, I'm gonna show you how we do that. It's all mix and match, I just throw it all in there, taste it, we like it, and then throw it on the meat. Uh, oh, I got Cholula, Jeff. I'm gonna uh, throw that all over. Love that stuff. And the wraps, some flour tortillas. I can't believe it's been like 40 something years before I realized how much I like Cholula. It's good stuff, Yeah, <laughs> really good stuff. Yeah, that's good. So stick around, we'll be back. All right, guys, time for the dry rub. Really hoping this comes up. I'm starting off with some cumin. I plan on going heavy, Jeff, so don't... don't uh... Teaspoon so far. Teaspoon <laughs> of cumin. I'm going to give the measurements. Wow. Chipotle chili pepper. Teaspoon of that, too. All right. I think it's a little on the overside. Whatever's left in your bottle of cayenne. Cayenne. Just put it in. I don't want to... I kind of want to use it all, but... I was just going to say, you don't want to what? Because that does not I don't want to ruin the meat. <laughs> I want you guys to be able to eat it. So that's about a teaspoon and a half. That's more than that. You're way... I don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> Ooh. That's a strong teaspoon. Yeah, paprika. Salt. Half a teaspoon. You going to question that, too? <laughs> no, that one was probably your best one. <laughs> Some garlic. Salt. That's about a half a teaspoon. I'm gonna go a little more on that cumin. Just for the color. Strong yeah. teaspoon. Well, you keep telling me I'm not putting anything in. <laughs> Give it a little mix. Do the little finger test. Smells really good. Oh, that smells good. It smells like your chili. Ooh, little bite, little bite. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it smells like your chili. You guys aren't afraid of a little why, spice. Why? why does it smell like your chili? All right, next up, I'm putting Nate to work. We're gonna show you how to cut the beef, cross, cross the grain, all that fun stuff. We'll be right back. So, 
So Chris thinks he's giving me a hard time asking me to cut up uh, flank steak. Chris, honestly, good. you know what? You know, well, let me just stop you right there, all right? As long as he's buying Chris loves doing his videos just because he gets to tell Nate what to do. <laughs> it is my video, and I like to be able to say, hey, Nate, go over and cut that across the grain, please. <laughs> this is an easy one, though. In thin strips, say. thin strips. This is an easy one. So there's really almost, there's no trimming to be done on this. Yeah, it doesn't I mean, look like a bad piece. Not a bad piece. Nice and lean. You can see real pronounced grain coming this way. So we're just going to go right across that. How thick you want these? I want them thin. I want them like paper quarter, thin, quarter, quarter inch, inch half inch. A little, little less than quarter inch. All right, let me cut a few here and see. Like that or you want it thicker? Just a hair thicker, Nate. And okay. you're good. Hair thicker. All right. Perfect. All right, quarter inch it is. So I'll go this way so the camera can see it. Not that you guys haven't seen this on Food Network 8 million times, but that's it, right across the green. So give me like five minutes and we'll be through this piece. Going right in the bowl for Chris's magic chili seasoning. <laughs> it's a little thick, Nate. <laughs> go on. That's what no one ever said. <laughs> All right, guys, given the amount of beef that we have here, we, Jeff and I, we doubled up on the spices. So what do we say, about a tablespoon of each? Table Maybe a little heavy tablespoon. Equal parts. Equal parts of all that. And uh, we're just gonna sprinkle this all over the meat. And have Nate give it a nice little... I got the gloves. So Chris is the sprinkler, I'm the mixer. Yeah, go ahead, we'll start with that. And I still have much more to add when needed. Yeah, we got, it ended up quite a bit of meat. <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot of flavor. Tender though, you can feel how tender it is, right? Yeah, you want to hit some more? Yeah. And bang. Perfect. So Nate's going to keep doing that. We're going to let it sit, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so. You know, you could let it sit longer. I don't know how much it adds or it takes away. You know about that, Nate? It's like a quick dry brine Yeah. You know, or a quick salt brine. Oh, you know so. what? We can add a little olive oil to it. What do you think? Uh, I think you're fine like this personally, but yeah. it's up to you. Well, I think when I cook it anyways, I'm going to throw a little olive oil yeah. down. Yeah, I think it's good. Maybe to coat it a little bit to let it sink in. Yeah, that's, look at that, dude. It's All pretty, right, we're good. Pretty, pretty well coated, I would say. All right, I'm going to fire up the griddle and get it going. Just put some olive, olive oil down. Going to get the, all the peppers and onions going. And I lied. I do not see my green peppers in here. I think I forgot. <laughs> them. Oh, you think we'll have enough, though? <laughs> so we're going to cook these. Maybe halfway, a little bit past halfway. I don't want to... Uh... This feels like it's turning into your nachos video. I know, There's right? a lot of peppers <laughs> and onions. You, you think I like to use my whole griddle or what? I'm going to try to get these, like I said, halfway. I want. I still like a little crunch. Do you guys like a little crunch in yeah, your absolutely. peppers? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I don't want them wilted. I don't want them real soft. So I've got this last burner on off and basically just going to let these sit probably just three or four minutes. I'm sweat just a little bit and then uh, move it on over and then get the steak going. you got nothing on those, right? You got nothing on it. It's not going to eat it. Once I mix it with that, I think we'll be good. That's going to carry all the flavor. All right, guys, time to... Th these are just getting a little soft. I'm going to move it all over to the where there's no heat. Sorry, not sweating. Yeah. I don't blame you, Jeff. Look at how cute he is. <laughs> so there's no heat on this burner right now, so I'm just going to let them sit. The nice. meat should cook very quickly. That was kind of quick. Just a tiny bit of color right we there. We got some good color. I'm a little upset I missed the green. Yeah, <laughs> but it's all right. That's pretty good. Once we get the beef though. in there, it'll look even better. So that's what she said. That's what she said. I'm gonna throw a little olive oil down, and this beef should take how much time, Nate? What are you calling? Three minutes. Uh, he's gonna take him two minutes to separate it. I say four minutes. Two minutes to separate. That looks really good. Oh, yeah, the smell already right off the, right out of there. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not separating that easy. You're absolutely right. Well, we might just have to do this a little flippy flip. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. I think once it starts to cook, it'll. Yeah, once it cooks, I'll flip it over. We'll be good. I like it. Oh. Wow. Woo! Definitely got. I love fajitas. Literally, one and a half minutes, I'm flipping it all, then I'm going to take it off. Guys, a minute, minute and a half, medium heat. These things are cooking very quick. Get out of here, Jeff! Son of a. <laughs> I should know. Anytime you come right up next to me, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> anyway, that yeah. looks awesome. This smells. And amazing. it separated all out pretty nicely yeah, once it started to cook. Yeah. Very, very quick, and I'm only gonna give this about another minute, and then we're pulling it off, guys. That seasoning is sticking right to it. I'm very happy about it. You can smell it. Wow. I think we're gonna have a little spice. Might see some sweating going on in my kitchen in a little while. <laughs> 
But yeah, we're almost ready to pull this off. Nate Did doing what that? Nate does best. Hey, Nate. <laughs> Still on vacation, Jeff. He hasn't oh, yeah. gotten off. Yeah, yeah. Three weeks. <laughs> Week four coming up. Yeah. Well, Nate got up. Nate got yep. up. We found him. All right, Jeff. You gotta see the action. This is all cooked. I'm gonna just mix it all together right now without Don't losing lose any bites. Any Although Duncan is looking, trying to get the onions and peppers all coated with the sauce around the meat. How's it smell, boys? You got like F. 20 or 30 more people coming for fajitas? Don't you worry about it. It ain't gonna go to waste, <laughs> pal. That is smelling awesome. You shut the griddle off? I just turned it off just now, right nice. before I did it. But yeah, that's a good mix. What do you think? That's it. I think you're ready. I think that's it. Done! It smells amazing. No one's been eating it yet. We're ready to taste, build our own. Chris, take a taste test. Can we finally eat? Yes, can we eat? Please, go ahead. You want to start? Let's start with this right here on the bottom. A little sour cream. So you guys know this is the cut corner here. Next, I gotta go a little guac. So I'm pretty sure we're all going with everything. Am I wrong? <laughs> you know, I don't see much here that I don't like at all. <laughs> do, we, do we ever though? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> all right, cheese. Oh, hey Adam, thank you. Howdy, hey Adam. You can do some tomatoes on top of tomatoes, Nate. I did. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, you want that? Nice stuff. This is the money maker idea. All the flavors with this. The cilantro, which I love. Put a little extra lime in, Jeff, because last time we made it, the lime made it taste that much better, remember? Yes. All right, who's going to fold this for me? Let me sit for a little bit. <laughs> also helps. Oh, can't forget. Add insult to injury right here. I'm gonna actually. You gonna brave it? This you is gonna try the custom subscriber hot sauce. It's this good is stuff. Homemade, really hot habanero hot sauce. It's good stuff though. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to close this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to close this. Are we going for this? We're going right in. <laughs> You're not gonna be able actually. to close that, dude. <laughs> you have to fold it over like a pita pocket. Look at that. Look at that thing of beauty right there. Jeff, you took a bite, what do you think? That's got some heat. <laughs> that definitely has some heat. And it's delicious. Mm. Mm. Wow. Spot on this. I get the cayenne right away. Look at Nate then I get Then I get the cilantro. <laughs> Why don't you put something in it? <laughs> That is not mine. That is mine. How it taste? Good? No. <laughs> For some strange reason, I taste that yellow pepper a lot. Mm -hmm. Me too. Really good. That, that's bringing out a lot of flavor. This is delicious. Really good. Mm. I think I'm going to go with a drop of this, too. How can you go wrong with the fresh? Everything tastes so fresh. Mm. Wow. That's good. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> you want to do a squat card? I want to keep eating. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's think about it. No, let's go. Let's go 18. Go anybody? Right anybody? anybody? No, I'll go 18. I mean, there's nothing exotic about this. It's nice and colorful. It's just a lot of prep work. That's the only thing. It's a lot of chopping, cutting. Yeah. yeah. That's the only thing I would take out of this. But it's worth it because it tastes so fresh. Exactly. That's why yeah. I'm giving it an 18. I'd go with that. Down with that. All right, 18. Definitely. Bang. Guys, if you're with us this long, thank you. Please, again, like, subscribe. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Comment. Comment. Let us know uh, what you think. Highly suggest giving it a try. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Again. Cheers. <laughs>